August 2018, we've got an update for the warm-up. So going through the dislocate, the shoulder band, ankle band, and then the deep squat um, and hamstring stretching. So for the dislocate, just using the band, some of these are going to be the same as before, but just so you've got some awareness on it. You've got the overhand grip. As you get better at it, you hold the band closer. And a bit of stretch in the band is quite good, but remember you've got to protract, elevate, retract, and depress as you're going around. It's first 15 seconds, second 15 seconds, have that grip with the underhand grip. The poles are good for this because it will force that stretch in, uh, in this position. It will force it out so it's a bit stronger with the pole, but remember I like using just the training pack. Uh, to get through the whole program, it's great. That way, you never feel that you know you need more equipment. Keeps it very simple. Then you've got face down dislocate. This is going to turn on the posterior chain when you do it. So the first one in that position is the wider grip and more of an arch. Then you grip it close to work on your handstand line, lock out and lengthen. Still activating that posterior chain, but you're really lengthening it. Then we're in a hollow body position. So same thing for this one, do a bit more of a hollow. So really hollowing up. And then your next version, you have a closer grip. And just do a couple of like that with your heels just off the ground, lower back pressed into the ground, shoulders up near the ears. So that's your first minute. Then you're going into the shoulder band work. Uh, it's good to anchor it about the, the height of your shoulders. Coming out to the side, forward, backwards. Now these little circles are what activate all of those low level responses in the shoulder. So really trying to activate those stabilizers. Coming out on a Y, coming down, straight out reverse fly. And we do the posterior chain first, just like when we're in the dislocate, we face down first to turn on the posterior chain. Here you're trying to hit vertical and hit vertical. So that should be 30 seconds. And you're reversing it, doing the same thing facing the other way. So you can use the door anchor behind the door and set up that anchor point so it's around your shoulder height. Um, or if you have something else, you can do it higher so it won't stress about it. it doesn't move, I just like it. So that way the line of pull is activating the posterior chain when I go the other way, and then this way I'm getting the anterior chain. Um, so coming straight up and down that Y. Really feel that protraction when you come around and then here you've got internal rotation and then this is a tricky one, I top down, the external rotation. Just remember these internal external rotation ones, all of these you can use, but I like to use the external internal like that, facing this way with posterior chain and anterior chain, I'll do it this way. Um, from the top and then from the bottom. Use those at the end of the workout a couple of times a week and do 10, 15, 20 reps to really get all those slow twitch fibers in the shoulder fired right up and get those aerobic responses. It just makes the shoulders feel so much better. And in the warm up, you're only doing it quick so that way you really activate those tissues. Then we go to the ankle band. 30 seconds left, right. 30 seconds forward and back. Trying to keep as much tension as you can in there little steps you can squat down as you're going across and come back up and it'll get the glutes fired up a bit more just be mindful you know as with any kind of niggle that you've got in your body work around there's always variations and that's what the subscription's for guys and you've got question what could i do in turn instead of this because it's a bit uncomfortable you know, that's what you you're paying for so sing out send me a video of what you're having trouble with and that way we can work on it make a recommendation. So here you're going forward and back. I like the external rotation on the forward, internal rotation on the reverse. So it just hits all those different fibers in the glute. Uh, so it gets it fired up, ready for the session. Um, then you've got the deep squat hamstring. So in the class we kind of work through on here, uh, which are quite cool, but you can use the rings, that's the exact same thing. So here's the deep squat. Traction out, like that. Then I can get a bit of a hamstring stretch coming back. Really try and drive through, get that nice shoulder stretch. 
from there, okay, come forward, get that nice shoulder stretch, hamstring stretch, shrug the shoulders up, go into the back lever stretch, really breathe into that, relax, open that up, and then I can get the pike stretch here. And that's the same as what I've been doing on the bars. So that whole process takes four minutes. Great warm up. I like doing it every day, checking in with my body, where's it at, and just making sure that I'm ready to go into that hang handstand warm up next.